Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. My name is Kate Sabatini, and I'm the Chief of Policy for the City of Providence. I'm here to testify in support of this bill, um, but I will not spend my time reiterating the points already articulated by Mayor Lorza and Mr. Partridge. Um, I do want to just respond to a couple of points raised by some individuals who've testified in opposition. So first, with respect to the dispute between Mr. Simmons and Attorney Partridge regarding regulatory oversight, I will just clarify for the record that it was certainly our intent to draft a bill where any entity that results from a transaction is immediately subject to regulation upon consummation of that transaction with the five-year rate cap. So it was our expectation that um, as soon as a transaction was complete, that entity would become a fully regulated public util utility, but that uh, for the first five years, rates would be capped to protect consumers. Um, I also just want to quickly respond to um, the bailout suggestion. And, you know, it's our position that we are doing the responsible thing by trying to utilize one of our own assets to solve our own financial challenges. Um, I also want to add a little bit to the mayor's response about how other communities could be impacted or could benefit from Providence Water entering into a transaction um, authorized by this bill. And <coughs> in addition to all of the great points that the mayor already articulated, I think what I want to suggest to this committee is that all communities in Providence, all communities in Rhode Island currently served by Providence Water would benefit by legislation that helps us protect and preserve this critical resource for the long term and ensure its sustainability. Um, and finally, I just want to close with by reiterating a couple of points that the mayor made. Um, first is that Again, Providence Water will not and cannot continue to operate under the city and provide water for a majority of state residents forever. Okay. Second, we would never enter into a transaction uh, yes. that doesn't ensure quality and affordability for all customers of Providence Water. Um, and third, as the mayor pointed out, we currently have 490 water suppliers in this state. So I would encourage this committee to think of this legislation as something broader than just something that Providence could take advantage of. It's no secret that we would look to enter into a transaction upon authorization with this legislation, but this really should be viewed as an opportunity for efficiencies and some consolidation statewide. Um, and then finally, as the mayor said, we're willing to work with you. So to the extent that there are suggestions for how this bill could be improved, we are very open to hearing from you. Thank you.